from the gateway to showbiz glory. This is Hollywood 411. Uh, Kim, you were actually uh, lucky enough to be at one of the official balls, uh, one of the nine or ten that Obama actually attended. A, a lucky ticket for you. Oh, it was amazing. And, I mean, you could just feel the crowd so waiting for Obama to show up. There were celebrities there, but they knew they were not the stars. I yeah. mean, we talked to Ron Howard, first of all. He was so nice. He just said there's this sense of everyone being so nice in D.C., and it's true. People were not pushing. It was crowded. 11,000 people in this packed ballroom, but yet everyone waited patiently. And when Obama walked on stage, the crowd went crazy. Yeah, everybody was giving. You and I commandeered two cars last night, and they weren't even ours to try and get around town because it was so tough People to try. People being so nice. People were just <laughs> giving good. each other rides and being friendly. It was a great scene. Well, Kim, we're going to talk to you later on in the show. I know you have some more anecdotes as well to share with us about the big night. Now, another celebrity pack ball Tuesday night, the Purple Ball. Our own Stacy Sweet partied it up with everybody there. It was a day of celebrating red, white, and blue, but the color of the night is purple. It's not red states, it's not blue states, it's uh, the purple ball. You know, purple was originally coined by Barack. He said, we're not a, a blue nation, we're not a red nation, we're a purple nation. We it's are the, the purple, purple states. states. That's good. The purple ball? Yes. Um, I'm glad to be at any ball. <laughs> Obama mania on the purple carpet and Hollywood, D.C., was buzzing. He's really our president and I'm so excited. If it doesn't make you feel proud to be American today, then something is wrong. I wouldn't rather have anybody else uh, being our new president other than Barack, so I think we're in good hands. Electrifying and it feels promising and certainly all of that is built on a really inspiring foundation of hope. You are all serenading America tonight at this ball. Isn't that exciting? Absolutely. This is history, world history, not just American history. I feel like it's a once-in-a-lifetime moment for a lot of people, especially for me. And uh, like I said, just an honor to be a part of history in the making. Never uh, have I been in Washington or, or uh, where everybody was so joyous. They were happy. His message is to all of us is that it's time for all of us to get up off our butts and really get this country working again. <laughs> Stacey, I've been talking to people, trying to explain just what the atmosphere was like all day yesterday. It really was amazing. It was very emotional, Chris. It wasn't that you could just see it, you could feel it. You just sensed that people were emotional and they were excited. And most of all, they were really euphoric. <laughs> and they were cold. Very <laughs> cold. We, we spent DC. time on the mall St and it was freezing. Yeah, Stacey, thank you so much. <laughs>